Nuclear isomers are exotic forms of matter that could revolutionize energy production or unleash unbelievable destruction. These intriguing atomic species are like revved up versions of regular isotopes, packing huge amounts of potential power into an unstable state. So why should we be concerned about nuclear isomers if they're so impractical? In most stable atoms, nucleons, protons, and neutrons pair up neatly. But some nuclei can get excited when one or more nucleons shift into higher energy configurations. Picture an atomic nucleus where neutrons or protons have spun into new orbits, like electrons jumping between shells. These amped up atoms are nuclear isomers. Their energized nucleons can remain trapped in high spin states for years. In effect, isomers act like charged batteries where the nucleons want to drop back to their ground state, releasing floods of gamma radiation in the process. But what if we could trigger that cascade on demand? In the late 1990s, maverick physicists like Carl Collins at the University of Texas claimed that he could unleash energy from hafnium isomers using simple X-ray machines. Collins claimed that irradiating hafnium 178M2 released 60 times more energy than the triggering X-rays. So if that is true, just a fingernail's worth of hafnium might yield TNT's explosive power. You can imagine why the Pentagon took interest. Agencies like DARPA launched classified programs to study isomer triggering. Their goal? Exotic new physics projects directed towards energy weapons, ultra-dense explosives, or EMP devices to fry electronics without fallout. With potential applications ranging from satellite power sources to nuclear grenades, isomers seemed like a strategic jackpot. The startling claims around triggering energy from hafnium isomers remain mired in uncertainty even decades later. Despite tantalizing initial reports, independent efforts to replicate those results have failed. Using state-of-the-art accelerators, multiple teams obtained null observations inconsistent with Collins' initial reports. Reproducing Collins' X-ray test just wasn't happening. Maybe there were measurement errors given the complexities of working with exotic nuclear states and faint radiation signatures. But branding Collins an outright fraud isn't entirely out of the question because lucrative military funding was involved. Regardless of motives, the consensus today regards the original finding as artifacts rather than breakthroughs. Still, even absent concrete progress, the allure of weaponized isomers continues. Imaginations run wild with the notion of pure fusion bombs beyond fission's reach, particle beams inducing antimatter annihilation, and pinhead-sized explosives dwarfing conventional TNT. But between fantastical projections and physical realities lies a yawning gulf.